Okay. Wanted to show you what you could do whenever your snake has a prolapse. Here is my snake Toby, four month old male ball python. As you can see, he's got a prolapse. I've dealt with this before, so I know what I can do to help him out. What you want to do is make sure you wash your hands first, which I already have. You want to get some warm water in the sink and make sure that it's clean. Don't want any substrate on it. One thing that you that can help definitely is if you have the snake upside down. Pretty much help gravity. Gravity will help you out. So what you can do, just hold the snake upside down. What you want to try to do is massage it into place. Another thing that I usually do is I have Q-tips, basic cotton swabs. Usually be as gentle as possible. You kind of just help push it. He doesn't like this very much. <clears throat> He's a good snake. Kind of just take the Q-tip and just gently kind of push it back in. You definitely don't want to hurt because this is, you know, considered, yeah, his intestines. So we definitely don't want to hurt them. Okay. If you wanted, you could even have one on each side to evenly push this back in. Sometimes this usually happens if you power feed. You know, you're feeding their mouse or a rat that's too big. Sometimes instead of feeding a rat, people will feed multiple mice. Not good. Get down. Get down. And this is what can happen. Now if this happens to your snake and you are able to successfully put the prolapse in gently and it happens again you definitely need to take your snake to the vet and what the, the vet will do <clears throat> is actually sew the intestines to pretty much the wall of the snake's you know tail here I suppose It seems very serious because um, nobody wants to, you know, see the inside of anybody's body, especially, you know, your pet. But just a simple prolapse. Try not to overfeed. A lot of times if a snake has a prolapse, you can find them, you know, soaking in their water bowl. Try to help it. A lot of times they can get it in themselves. If you ever see any blood, then you definitely want to go to the vet. This is more common in green tree pythons than it is ball pythons. Not very common in ball pythons at all. It's almost done taking my time. I don't want to hurt him. Definitely don't want to tear any part of him. You can push on the belly like this in a downward motion towards his head. Help it kind of go into place. And like I was saying, you can take two Q-tips. I need to get them wet first. You can put one on each side to help. If you're doing this and your snake pushes the prolapse back out, uh, you're probably hurting him. You need to take him to the vet.
can wear gloves if you'd like to, any kind of glove that isn't going to cause him any type of irritation. Um, if you have him on, if you have your snake on any type of loose substrate, um, you might want to keep him something like paper towels just until you know, he heals up. Keep checking on him. May go off food for a little bit while they're healing up. Nothing to worry about. I'll give it a little bit of time. If you're worried, just take your snake to the vet. This is for, you know, a non-serious prolapse that you can fix yourself.